today I've got a really stupid idea, and we're gonna use it to see how badly I can break the game. Currently we have an idiot with a jetpack that does 12 damage per bullet, which is pretty adequate so far, even against the elites with the shields. <laughs> but of course we're gonna upgrade. But because we have the artifact of command, we get to pick every item. So for equipment, I've taken the foreign fruit for now, that way when I want to use it, it will heal 50% of my health. Therefore, the more health I have, the more that's going to give me. And look at this, this requires half my health to use, but I could just put that right back. For this, I'm going to take this one. Uh, this is going to give me a 0.5% chance to instantly kill a non-boss enemy. And yes, that is a 1 in 200 chance. But if we increase our attack speed a lot, 1 in 200 happens a lot. We just need more chances. So we just need to get blinding fast attack speed, and then 200 shots are going to go off in no time at all. So here is more attack speed again, which is actually a pretty noticeable difference already. Here's another opportunity to sacrifice 50% of my health that we instantly heal back on. We're going to do the same thing again. So now we have 1 in 100 chance to instantly kill whatever we're shooting. Plus we get a health chest. Then we're going to turn into more attack speed again. The best defense is being able to kill everything in an instant. Another $25, very well spent, more attack speed. And inevitably, once my attack speed gets insanely high, any chance on hits are going to be way overpowered. A $50 upgrade means it has slightly higher rarity. For this one to start, we're going to get this. Killing an enemy permanently increases your maximum health up to 100, so we're going to add an easy 100 health. That's going to pair well with my 50% heal. And already at this point with our attack speed, we're making pretty short work of these enemies, and that's without insta-killing them. Uh, a few rolls on this thing, we got an upgrade that's going to be more attack speed. It's time to fight our first boss. We'll see how this goes with our current setup. So far, he's lost about 20% of his health, so I think we're in good shape. So without much fuss, the boss is dead. That should give us an item. Now we just got to finish off all the regular morons. They stand no chance at all. For the boss item, I've taken Leeching Seed for now. Uh, dealing damage heals you. One shot equals one heal. The rate we're shooting, we're going to be pretty safe. And that's just going to help me get out of some very stupid situations that we're inevitably going to find ourselves in. I also hired a healing drone just because I had leftover money. Our leftover money will just turn into experience anyways. Which brings us to a swap where the enemies are going to be maybe slightly stronger, but we're up to 29 damage already. The bigger enemies definitely lasting way longer than I want them to. So we're going to add this one to gain 10% chance to bleed enemies on hit and those stack. So 1 in 10 hits is going to start them bleeding. So sometimes when I get in these fights and I have to run away, they're going to sit there bleeding while I uh, go on to other things. But we're basically just going to bleed everything really bad. Like that beginning up there is very tough. So even if I want to go ahead and ignore it at some point, it will just continue bleeding on. Now we've added a chance to fire a missile. One in 10 shots is going to fire a missile that deals 300 damage. So those are going to go off fairly often often as well. And we're going to roll this a few times to get some easy items here. We'll take another 15% attack speed and another easy 15% attack speed. Now we're firing even quicker <laughs> for much, much more damage. The enemies are going to absolutely love me by the end of this. That's an elite and he's dead that quickly. We are still on pretty easy difficulty, but we need to stay well ahead of the damage curve. We're just going to keep on bleeding things as best we can. All right, that didn't give me anything twice. Okay, it finally did once again. Let's uh, get a double bleed chance. So now there's a one in five hit to bleed. So we already stacked up bleed on that really quickly and bleed finished it off. Then we're going to take another 15% attack speed, which means we're hopefully be able to whittle things, even tough things down quickly. We're simply here to eradicate the local population of everything. If it's alive, it has to die. I will murder it with no discrimination whatsoever. $56 upgrade. It's a basic level upgrade, but it'll work. More attack speed. Plus another one of these. Minus 50% HP put right back on. Now we get another one of these. For this one, I'm going to take this. This is going to heal me for 2% of my health while sprinting. That's just going to give us a little bit more survivability that we're going to need. The longer we survive, the more damage we're going to be able to do. I'm going to go ahead and assume we got most of this level buttoned up. So now it's time to fight the Beetle Queen. But this time we're doing lots of extra effects and we're certainly bleeding it to death. It's got 25, 30 stacks of bleeds. We don't have to shoot it anymore, it's dead. Now we just have these regular morons to fight, and with all of our chance on hits and bleed, everything is melting quickly. There we go, critical strike increases attack speed, stacks three times. We have a 5% crit chance, so we're going to get extra attack speed out of that, so we're just going to reapply more attack speed and bleed on things. Plus, critical hits certainly don't hurt. Okay, we'll test it on this guy. He's got absolutely full health, and a one stack of bleed, we can do better. He died quickly, but not that quickly which brings us to Canada. And we get to fight Hoppy Mice. <laughs> they die quite quickly. We'll do our damage check against the flying adorable creature. Okay, our damage seems to be quite adequate so far. So let's see how much worse we can make it. 
We're going to take a little more attack speed again, because you can just never have too much of that. Already I'm feeling almost invincible, at least for these weak enemies. I really got to remember not to open those ones. That's just equipment, and we already have equipment, so I'm just wasting money. Uh, this guy's a little bit stronger. He's also really stupid, so he ran behind a rock where he's now going to die. Uh, the big uh, bullet guy, he's also dead. And there's two of them, so we'll just go ahead and uh, unleash our abilities. One dead, and he'll bleed to death anyway. Uh, we do 50% HP to offer to that. We can put our health right back on, though, as soon as I get my ability back. Or I get to sprint in circles for a second, too. We gotta go 75% HP the next time around, so this is gonna be risky. But no one ever said I was smart. Didn't work that time. Our ability is almost back, so 50%. Now we have to lose 93% to do it. I don't know if we want to do that. Only $90 for an upgrade. Yes, please. I'm actually gonna increase my bleed chance. I should make it up to 30%, so 1 in 3 are gonna bleed. I was a little disappointed with the amount of bleed stacks we're getting. Because if things aren't immediately bleeding to death, what's even the point of doing this? That's a little better. 108 for a damage chest. Which just means we get to pick anyway, so here you go, more bleed damage. Another $90 investment, maybe uh, more bleed. Now we have a 50% bleed chance, so let's see how it goes against this. We didn't get all of our shots on him, but yeah, the bleed really stacks up and then they just absolutely melt. This time we're going to add some critical damage. Uh, we now have a 10% chance to crit, an improved 10% chance. I'm also going to take this stun grenade. We now have a 1 in 20 chance to stun an idiot with shooting, so not only are the uh, heavier enemies going to be bleeding to death, they're also going to be stunned pretty much permanently. And difficulty has entered hard territory, though I'm not finding it particularly hard yet, especially when we can bleed everything to death. I think we still need a touch more just raw damage and attack speed. And then we're also going to add even more crit chance. They will also stack up to extra attack speed if we're continually shooting something, which which we often find ourselves doing. I've had enough of this frozen wasteland. Let's murder this idiot. This is the boss. Uh, the rockets are going off. The stacks of bleed are sort of getting the better of them. Not sure which part of them I'm supposed to be shooting. The teapot is dead. He managed to hit us for quite a bit of something because uh, I didn't know what he was doing, but we're fine. Let's also take another 10% chance to fire rockets and move out of the fire we're standing on. So we got a 1 in 5 chance to fire uh, a flurry of rockets to deal extra damage. I think also have a chance, a large chance at that to critical hit, which will also add even more attack speed. So we can just continue this chaos. Okay, these guys are uh, fairly tough. They're dead in about a second. And the buffalo thing, also dead in pretty much an instant. These ones are so cute. I think they're just adorable to murder. Now we're in the mushroom world. That should pair nicely with a uh, hail of bullets. Damage is definitely feeling pretty adequate right now. We're not to ridiculous levels yet, but we're definitely getting closer. Look at this big guy, he even comes with a shield. And he's dead. 50% of the HP, we'll put that right back on. And then we'll take another 0.5 chance to instantly kill morons. So 1.5 chance in total to instantly kill something we're shooting. Considering how many bullets we're firing, that's going to go off a lot. But we'll take more rockets. Because you can definitely never have too many rockets firing at the idiots. This one's a little cheaper, and wouldn't you know it, that's going to turn into even more crit chance and attack speed. So this is going to be especially useful in fighting the bigger enemies, because the little ones don't last long enough for us to really see it. That one's a little better, and he's dead. I don't know what this thing is. He doesn't seem that interested in fighting, but he doesn't really have a choice. Every chest is so exciting, though. But only because we get to pick what comes out of it. That was the 11th speed syringe to up to 165% attack speed so far. We're thoroughly into very hard territory now. That's a place your mom actually enjoys quite a lot. <laughs> I've got to say, these little squirmy guys are actually really annoying because they're a little bit harder to shoot than the other ones, so they last longer than they should. But we got another one of these upgrades. We'll go ahead and take more crit chance and stacking attack speed. I keep getting turned around in this level, so let's just get to the boss straight away. Clay Dune Strider. Okay, we're fighting another teapot, but the more damage we put on him, the more the damage he's going to take. So he's going to keep stacking up damage more and more and more. There's two of them. Okay, I see what happened now. I get it. See, this still annoys me because he's surviving way longer than I want him to. Even though we're doing massive damage, and the bleeds are stacking up. He's got 20 stacks of bleed, he's got more stacks of bleed, plus we're healing ourselves while we're doing this. There's some elites, never mind, hanging around. That one blew up almost instantly. So we'll just take our extra rockets and be on our way. I think I should also add some straight up damage, because the rockets are multiples of our damage and so are our crits. And we've taken enough crits and rockets so far that we're gonna need some damage to uh, supplement it. Next is the Sky Meadow, full of big broken bells that die almost instantly. I think most of everything's gonna die almost instantly. That guy's pretty big actually, he's taking a few hits. Uh, the rockets are starting to get to him now and now we're shooting the little elite. <laughs> What's he doing up there? He's gonna die no matter where he goes, he's got 30 stacks of bleed. I'm not sure if I have to stand here until I lose 50% of my HP. I'm assuming that's what it is. Could you not? I'm trying to figure something out. I'm not really sure what this, what this thing's asking. I think it's new. Uh, whatever the case, we're gonna get out of there because that was really taking damage. We did get an item out of the uh, roll of chance thing over here. For this, we're going to go ahead and take more missiles again. Now, let's find something that can survive long enough, like that guy, to see some rockets. Never mind. 
I've already made $1,900. So might as well spend it all on uh, these items. If this thing's only $300. It's a medical bot. I've got two healing drones. I'm invincible. We quickly rolled into insane territory. These are getting expensive. Uh, we're going to take the ukulele this time. Uh, just because that can spawn chain lightning sometimes. That would just be a little nicer for some of these clusters of enemies where they all group up together. It's really annoying to have to individually shoot them. I don't have time for such things. Uh, as for this one, there's simply more attack speed. More attack speed is just more everything. More damage, more heals, and a lot more fun. These bullets are going out quick. Uh, here's another big guy. For some reason, he reminds me of a chicken. I might get knocked off of this before I get to enjoy my reward, but we're going to try our best. More attack speed. So now we're going to fight a bell who can't aim whatsoever. Another chest. We still have $2,000. It feels like no matter what we do, we always have $2,000. That was the 15th upgrade we've had, though, so I think we have 225% attack speed. The chain lightning's going off a bit. And I'm not sure what happened to the second guy. I don't think I shot him even once. And more attack speed again. Plus a health chest. Not sure what we need health for, but we'll see how quickly... Yeah, okay, we're, <laughs> our attack speed's getting up there. And we'll add some more. Not really sure where I am anymore, but we're just going to keep on stacking attack speed. Actually, from up here, we could potentially find the boss zone. We've also stacked up a lot more attack speed from the last time we fired. And I think it's uh, feelable. These little uh, fiery grapes pop in an instant. Another health chest. Uh, health means more attack speed, and more attack speed, and even more attack speed. Just one more. I kind of forgot that it was going to start adding damage, but we're at 360% attack speed, so that feels good. To celebrate, we're going to make a boss look dumb. We're on insane difficulty. Are you the boss? I don't know if that's the boss or not. It's very tough, whatever it is, but it's also getting wrecked now. We have a lot of stacks of everything, and it's dead. Oh, look, a lizard. Uh, he's also dead. Oh, another. Never mind. Yeah, the boss was standing up to our damage at first, but once we get all those stacks and stuff on him, he gets wrecked. Plus, the more crits we do, the more uh, faster we attack, so we're just a self fueling loop. Uh, we'll take higher chance to crit once again. That also leads to higher attack speed uh, the more we hit, so that's just great for us. We're generally killing things so quickly that by the time our rockets are like launched, they're already aiming for someone else. So it's a mystery who and what our rockets are going to hit at this point. They're just going out there for anything. We left impossible into ICU difficulty, and I think we're supposed to go up the ramp. This is where we fight the butterflies. That one's dead. There's a dancing crab. We get to fight that too. Hope he likes bleeding a lot. Find a way to rescue the ship. I don't particularly remember this, but we'll figure it out. I have an immense amount of attack speed and too much time on my hands, so we can accomplish anything at all. Uh, there's a missile turret. Where does one-shotting things, I think, do that ability? 1.5% chance really comes quickly when you shoot a million bullets a second. Next time, maybe they could leave us some chests here so we could still upgrade ourselves? How long to kill this little guy? Shouldn't be too long. This one we can just apply stacks of bleed to. I wanted to see how much he was bleeding for, but he died before we could really run that experiment. Apparently I need to enter the zone of the pillar of blood. It's going to take health away, but I'm pretty sure if I sprint I get health back. And then I have to do that a few times. Three of the pillars are now done. I cannot see a fourth, so I'm going to assume it is elsewhere. I suspect I found the final pillar. There's a big blue something way up there. I really hope you're the pillar I'm looking for. It is a pillar. It is charging, so I'm hoping this counts. Although I do know see another one over there. But we've moved into I'm coming for you difficulty. Insert your own mom joke into that one. It's sort of low hanging fruit. I think that actually worked. Not really sure what this is, but I think it's going to take me somewhere I want to go. Like way up into the sky where we get to fight a black hole. This is familiar. Sort of. We're going to fight a very geometric creature. We're just going to keep raining damage on. Okay, the damage is going quick. He's probably going to do some damage. We just got to keep our damage on him. We'll be fine. Just keep hitting him, just keep hitting him, just keep hitting him. It's going quick. Where'd he go? I need to continually hit him. If he goes where I can't hit him, that's not fair. He needs to stay right here where we can get lots of our uh, bleed stacks and attack damages on him. Uh, okay, he uh, almost hit me there. He missed me there because he sucks, but we'll have him defeated in no time. He can enjoy all my rockets. I was hoping we'd like make him evaporate, but we are also on a crazy high difficulty by this point. But to be fair, he is dying rather quickly. He's got a lot of bleed stacks on him right now. And he's dead. Uh, now we have to fight a Lunar Chimera, which is probably not these things. Uh, it's not that thing. I guess we have to kill these first. These creatures are all reasonably tough, so it's going to take a sec. Actually, once I get my stacks uh, leveled up, powered up, then we're firing even quicker. Oh, these are actually part of the boss itself. Oh, then our geometric friend is back. So we're going to have the same strategy as last time. We're just going to continually shoot them, basically employing little to no strategy at all. Aside from just trying to keep my stacks of uh, crit and stuff up from shooting him so much. So far, so good. We're also healing ourselves while we're hitting him. So he's going to do that once in a while. We can heal ourselves up uh, in two seconds. Wow, I'm actually dead, aren't I? I didn't know I could die when I was doing that much damage. That's not my fault. 